Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Lena and I hope that you guys are having a good time wherever you are. Thank you so much for tuning in and uh, I hope that things are going well with you. I'm back with another reading. This is going to be a coffee cup reading. Uh, the topic for today's reading is next 15 days. We are already um, in the middle of the month and let's check the energy for the next 15 days how the energy looks like what can you expect um, in case you need any personal services or you want to gift me a deck of cards you can check all the details in the description box of the video and uh, men i have been receiving a couple of comments saying that Probably you don't get notified for my videos, so please let me know if you receive the notifications when I upload. And uh, in case you don't receive, maybe you can refresh your uh, bell button. You can um, uh, switch the setting or switch the option to all. When you press the bell, there comes a list. So from that, you can select all. So that way you'll be notified whenever I post a video. So... Coming back to the reading, we have two options from which you can choose. This will be the option uh, for group number one. This is the cup for group number two. I'm also going to give you Lenormand cards. Uh, the images can help you to select an option. Let's pick two cards for group number one. And two cards for group number two. So these will be the two cards for group number one. Uh, you have bouquet and you have cross. If you want to choose with the cards, these will be your options. And for group number two, uh, if you want to choose with the images on the cards, this will be your option. Wow, I love this. You have dog and you have fish. These will be the options for group number two. So in case you need a moment to pause and select your option, feel free to do it right now. And in case you want to listen to both the options and then take the messages that resonate more with you, again, feel free to do that. I'm going to start with group number one. So group number one, whosoever chose this cup or these two cards, this is going to be your reading. Um, so I'm going to come back to the cards, what these cards mean, but let me first see the cup. Okay. We'll start with the cup and then we'll dive into the messages with the cards and other tarot cards as well. Okay. So let's keep this on the side. Okay. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Ooh, there's not much in the cup. You know, when I lifted the cup, I got a message that you don't need anyone to tell you what you're supposed to do okay i literally got that kind of a message and i think from here on it gives me a feeling that you're good to lead the path by yourself it gives me a feeling that you have already made up in your mind what you want to do or the kind of feeling that i'm kind of uh, you know channeling with this cup is like you have made up your mind with something and you're gonna do it no matter what uh, it doesn't matter to you if someone is judging you or someone is like feeling bad about it or someone is like not happy with their decision. That's none of your business anymore. It gives me a feeling that you're going to do it no matter what happens, no matter what someone says, you're going to do it. That's it. And for many of you, I'm also getting a feeling maybe you are um, coming out when it comes to your sexuality. Maybe you're being more vocal about your sexual preferences or maybe for some of you, it's about coming out of the closet with some kind of preferences you have in your life. One message that I got. Uh, for many of you, I also feel maybe you are letting your family know that, uh, like I keep channeling this energy of being bold with this pile, like uh, something that you're breaking free from, like, uh, maybe it's about uh, like, for example, your no one in your family um, is into makeup, say, for example, like maybe you're a guy and you like to do makeup, you want to be a makeup artist and 
but no one in your family does that kind of a work. So you don't care. You're just, you're just letting people around you know that, hey, this is what I'm going to do. I keep channeling the energy of like um, being bold. And this is so interesting. It's matching with the energy of your cards that came out. So basically, I'll tell you something. The cross in this Lenormand deck actually represents... Um, it represents the fact that something which is like orthodox or traditional, like for the lack of better words, I'm using those, uh, ling I'm using that. So something that is like, uh, th that limits you within rules, you're not going to follow that anymore. Cross actually represents rules, regulations, like say, for example, um, you're a part of a particular community and they they want people to be certain way. They want people to follow certain rules. You're no longer going to follow rules. Cross represents rules, okay? Something which is outdated now, like you don't resonate with it anymore. You, you want to be more open-minded. You want to be more, less judgmental and explore more, okay? So that's the kind of message this card gives. And this is so interesting. It came out with the bouquet card. Bouquet, um, oh, you have, okay, nine and three plus six is nine. I just noticed that. Uh, you might be seeing number nine a lot or number six a lot. This is the six of clubs, which is like the six of wands. And this is the queen of uh, spades, which is like the queen of swords. Queen of swords represents the energy of, you know, cutting out what no longer serves you, okay? Okay. Um, so basically, you are being very bold about something. Bouquet card represents your um, how you interact with people. It's it's like the social setup, uh, okay, bouquet card. So I get a feeling that uh, you are becoming more, either you are someone who is coming out of your hermit mode, you're being more open, you're, you're actually being more open-minded when you approach people. For some of you, this could mean that you're becoming more open-minded when it comes to dating people, or you are becoming less judgmental of yourself, of, or, or of your body, how you look, or you are exploring your options. This definitely screams to me like you're becoming more open-minded. And you are giving new things a chance, whether it is in terms of making friends, whether it's about trying something new for work, whether it is about putting your preferences out there to people, whether it is about being more vocal to your partner that, hey, this is what I prefer and you have to respect me for that. So this definitely screams being more open, being more uh, vocal about what you want and how you want things to be. You're not judging and you don't care if someone judges you. When I see inside your cup, see, there's not much, not much happening. Like it's literally blank and there is just a little bit of something here. So let's see what that is. Wait, let me, okay. This is actually like, uh, when I looked at that, it gave me the vision of like, you know, someone sitting at uh, like a riverside or like, you know, like by the side of the water and the waves are coming in, washing the feet and going back into the river, ocean, whatever that is. So this is like more, Oh, wow, I see a crab here. This like, oh, this gave me the feeling of a crab. Wow, that is beautiful. Hmm. Yeah, so that is giving me the feeling of like the, the water energy. Water is like, it goes with the flow. It has like... um no no judgments and you know like water is a very free-flowing energy like no one can stop water right like you can't stop water water flows where it has to flow so i love this energy man this is so breezy so nice so refreshing like no judgments and just being yourself just putting yourself out there um just just exploring life like that's the kind of energy i see for the next 15 days just exploring just just giving new things a chance trying out new things being vocal about how you feel 
maybe for some of you, you are keeping your feelings hidden for a while. You wanted to really share something with someone or maybe your family. So you're going ahead and doing that. I really feel that kind of uh, energy here. You're not stopping yourself from expressing. And that's a beautiful energy, let me tell you. Let's see if I can get something here. Like if, if again, um, like there is something that catches your eye or you see something, obviously you can feel free to mention in the comments or you can take that as a personal message to you. Okay. Uh, when I was looking here, it gave me the feeling of like, someone sitting and like there's someone like someone is taking a selfie with someone like you know that's the kind of image i got in my head um it's reminding me of a creator i have seen online he poses with his dogs you know like he calls his dogs and takes selfies it's kind of reminding me of that guy i have seen his videos a couple of times um <laughs> uh, like they go different places and then he takes selfies with his dogs. Wow. For some of you, there's definitely an energy of like social life improving or you are meeting different kinds of people like you're exploring. For Maybe some of you are actually making new friends. You're talking to, uh, you're going to an event maybe or you are, you are maybe exploring a place nearby, okay, or something like that and you're meeting new people because the bouquet card also showed up. It's, it's the card of, you know, uh, community it's a card of uh, creating new connections for some of you it's about um, the next 15 days may be centered around making new connections meeting new kind of people okay or maybe you're attending some kind of event or something like that and you're actually meeting people there let's see the plate we didn't have much in the cup so <laughs> let's go with this I'm getting the number 20. Oh, fuck. Okay, sorry. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Um, I was seeing the number 20, 23, okay? This is giving me the feeling of like a bike, like a scooter or something. Um, some of you might be taking like a small road trip or something like that. Like you're exploring some new place nearby. Maybe you're not going too far. You're just exploring nearby something um your country like your outskirts of the town outskirts of your city maybe you're just exploring some place for some of you maybe you are actually meeting your friends after a while it could be like as simple as of you know like you're meeting your friends after a while you're just going out for some good time uh you're planning a dinner date with your friends or maybe you're just going on a you know, like you're meeting someone after a while, you're just going out for food and drinks or something like that. I see good social time, like social life improving. Or maybe the next 15 days, it's about, yeah, like your focus is on the social life. Uh, for some of you, maybe you are watching like a, I'm also getting like a cricket stadium. So maybe some of you are going to watch a match with someone <laughs> or you're planning to like, I don't know, uh, uh, do we have cricket matches around this time? I don't know, I'm not aware of sports. I got that cricket stadium, so maybe you're going out to like watch a match with your friends or something for some of you. I'm also getting the, like, uh, I got the, uh, the, that Captain America symbol. So maybe some of you are watching a movie soon. Like you're going out for a movie date or something. Wow, your social life is the focus, I feel. Uh, let's see what else. Wow, this gave me the feeling of like a street lamp. Uh, maybe you're taking a late night walk with someone, like a romantic late night walk. Uh, I'm also hearing a walk to remember. <laughs> this is so nice. You're definitely meeting uh, someone new, I feel. Or you're making a really good friend. 
let me turn it like that Wait. I see like um, someone wearing a hat a, like a girl wearing a hat <laughs> yeah like someone is like dressed up here <laughs> wow okay uh, let's take some cards okay we can just see uh, which one should I okay let's start with a tarot only all right so how is your next 15 days going to be this one I'm drawn to oh they gave me wow okay they already gave me all the cards <laughs> this is so interesting you have the world card at the bottom of the deck nice world card also represents travel movement okay this is sorry oh my god yeah this is wait let me see if it's focusing yeah that's the tower moment hmm wow that is beautiful that actually seems to me like um maybe f as i said maybe just because you're coming out of the closet you're making something very evident you're making it public so people may not feel very good about it like people around you might be like mm, where did this come from so it might cause a little bit of shake up in the current friendships or relationships you have but that's okay i think that's still fine uh it's it's bringing in a lot, lot more positive energy into your life yeah see the focus is on friendships again and again six of cups it's a card of friendship it's also a card of reconnection i said right i think in the cup i did mention maybe some of you are reconnecting with a with an old friend or some people of the past but this is this seems positive maybe you're just meeting a couple of friends after a really long time wow i love this energy this is so beautiful four of wands see even if there is a tower moment do you see the energy here even though there's a tower moment the energy seems very positive you're still having so much fun you are just celebrating you're connecting with some good people high priestess amazing connecting with your feminine energy and oh my god this cannot be anymore ten of pentacles Ten of Pentacles is the card of community and family. The, the, the idea of community keeps showing up in your reading. Wow. So that's the focus for the next 15 days. For some of you, maybe you're actually attending a wedding or maybe, you know, things like that. That also could be you're connecting with so many cousins, people, stuff like that. Let's take one more. And... Let's see what's the center of focus for the next 15 days. We'll take one card from here. The center of focus for the next 15 days. We're taking one major thing here. And this one. This one, all right. Bottom of the deck, we have dog spirit dog represents friendships i i told you i also saw the vision of that dog uh, creator that i was talking about be loyal to what you love yeah there's a lot of energy of friendships community coming up in your reading so let's take them one by one koala spirit <laughs> spirit has a plan wow this is so cute 35 for some of you it's about some destined friendships okay what the heck I don't know if it's catching on the microphone, but the pigeons uh, outside my window, like they all gathered up and they're just dancing like anything. <laughs> wow. Number three, prosperity. So that's the focus for the next 15 days. You're going to see a lot of good energy flowing into your life. Uh, prosperity doesn't only represent money or material things. It can be about uh, better emotional fulfillment, like emotional um, 
needs getting met, uh, you overall feeling so positive and good about yourself, your life and everything. So this is so positive. I love this. Are you right now kidding me? What? You got like one of the best cards of both the decks. Like literally from so many, like I have pulled cards from so many different decks and you have got like the best cards of different decks, okay? Number 33 and again 3. 3 could be something you might be seeing a lot. So that's your confirmation. This message is for you. Flower moon with blossoming. Flower moon, you can check the timing around which this moon occurs. So that timing could be significant to you. It can be a con confirmation for something. And look, you have the energy of blossoming and prosperity. Like you are having an abundance of everything. It's positive. It's good. And that is happening once you decide to listen to your intuition, listen to your feminine voice. Number 18, pleasure. Oh my God, love this energy. Beautiful. Amazing. Group number one, I am in love with this reading. Thank you so much for being here and I'm going to see you again with another video. Do take care of yourselves. Bye-bye. Group number two, whosoever chose this cup, uh, this is going to be a reading or if you were drawn to the images of the cards. So we are going to talk about the cards in a moment. I'm going to first check your messages from the cup. We are going to first scry inside your cup. Oh my God, it is full. <laughs> Group number one was like blank, like there was nothing inside the cup. It was almost blank. Here it's like full. Ooh. You know what this gives me a feeling? First of all, this gives me a feeling that you're going to be very busy for the next 15 days. You will have a lot to cater to. Maybe you have to like multitask. You'll have to take care of a lot of things. For some of you, it might include going back and forth. Like uh, maybe you are you have to go do this then come back home then do this again go back to work and you know like i'm getting as if someone is so busy like they're doing back and forth from their house so next 15 days seems definitely busy to me for some of you i'm also getting a feeling maybe you are shopping or you are actually uh, like you're busy collecting things because maybe you're preparing for a trip you're preparing for maybe someone in your house is going like maybe your sibling your parents or someone in your family is traveling so that's why maybe you're busy you're you're preparing stuff for them you are just bringing you're going shopping again i'm getting a feeling maybe you're really busy for the next 15 days okay um it could be the fact that maybe someone uh, is not keeping well in your family so you might have to take them to the hospital or you're taking them to the doctor uh, you're doing some kind of back and forth like I am seeing someone sitting in the car then again coming out then again sitting in the car so some kind of back and forth either you are going to the uh, to shop or you have some work to be taken care of and you're doing back and forth yeah let's see now inside your cup if there is something that catches your eye take that as a personal message to you and if you want to mention that in the comments feel free to do that always <clears throat> um wow Uh, I'm getting someone like I saw the image of like someone getting a hair treatment like like I saw the image of a salon in my mind and uh, hang on <clears throat> sorry I thought I was about to sneeze <laughs> no okay uh, number 18 could be significant I'm seeing 18 um, like I was getting the image of someone at the hair salon so maybe some of you are getting ready I don't know if there is like a um, I don't know, like you're getting some services done, you're getting ready for some kind of event, maybe. Um, you know what, I'm also getting a feeling as if someone is participating into something. Uh, like, you know, when, um, what is that called? Wait, 
oh i just now noticed on this card there is number 18 i just now noticed this <laughs> this is beautiful i'm getting the image of you know when um like when you put up a stall at a fair and you know you you sell your thing like you know we go to those big food festivals or like a uh, book fair or something like that so maybe some of you are partaking in that or you are visiting something like that like i got the vision of like someone putting up their stuff in that uh place you know like <laughs> i don't know i'm getting something like that for some of you i feel um i got the vision of a creator like she makes she actually bakes okay and she puts uh videos online and she offers like small samples of her cakes okay i got her image so maybe you are opening up a new business you're selling out some samples maybe or for some of you it's about you're strategizing how to maybe proceed with your business say for example you are, you have a side hustle or you have like um you run your own small business you have a home home baker or something like that again this is a collective reading so take what resonates i feel the focus is on uh making something more like you're focusing on bettering some things so so for, say for example if you are a home baker or you run a small business of your own you sell your own products services so maybe you are making some changes in your business okay or you're introducing some new products new samples uh or you are getting more customers that's why you're so busy okay um and not surprisingly with this card coming up because in this lenormand deck the fish represents financial uh abundance it actually represents more finances coming your way whenever this card comes out it's a very good news when it comes to money your money is definitely improving in the next 15 days uh the king of diamonds which is like the king of pentacles so definitely the energy of money is very strong like for the next 15 days there is definitely very positive energy when it comes to your money so it's a good news especially if you're someone who runs a small business you have your own thing you offer services you offer your own products it's a good news for sure and since i'm getting those images you know like people running here and there working busy definitely more customers more business more work <laughs> for some of you if you're not a business owner or you don't do your own thing you're into a job maybe then it represents you're getting some kind of bonus some kind of financial favor from your company your company is just giving you some gift again take how that resonates oh my god just give me a moment sorry i uh, i was about to sneeze i didn't do <laughs> okay um um i'm seeing an owl here and i also saw like a big mustache here like this one it's giving me a feeling as if you're receiving some kind of help like if if you're if you're facing some kind of stuck energy or you are feeling as if but how do i move forward from here so i feel there is some kind of help coming your way in the next 15 days someone might actually offer their help or if you're looking for some kind of professional help then you're uh, you're getting that um yeah that is what the energy i see oh wow this is beautiful like look i'm seeing like a mask here uh wait is it focusing wow that's beautiful like a masked it's giving me the feeling of like goddess uh goddess bastet wow it's giving me like the energy of you know like you're going to do more than what you expect out of yourself like you'll be surprised by your own capacity of doing something like you're going to shock your own self like you'll be like wow i never knew i had this potential you're crossing like you know sometimes we set certain goals for ourselves but 
it's like you're going to overachieve something and you're going to be like wow i never thought i'll be able to do that i'm also seeing like a fox here and this is giving me a feeling of like don't let someone talk you out of something say for example you plan to do something and someone is like but you know what i don't think this is a good idea you should not do it okay so don't listen to that person someone someone might try to talk you out of something or try you know someone might try to like convince you to either do or not do something don't listen to this person this is what i'm getting be careful don't let someone manipulate you okay let's see the plate now like uh, they're telling me to look in the plate when i saw this wait let me show you um okay when i was concentrating here it gave me the feeling of like a you know when you read those contracts it gave me a feeling like that when i was seeing here um for many of you uh, be careful before signing something or this could also represent that you're finally signing a deal like you're finally locking the deal uh like you're finally signing the papers with something you're making something official uh again take how that resonates it's a collective reading you're finalizing something yeah i keep getting this idea of you're making something official or you're finalizing something like uh people know that okay you're doing this so you're making something official for some of you it's about opening a new shop or like a new place uh that also could be something okay um again take how that resonates with your situation it's a general reading oh wow okay i i keep seeing cat energy for you like cats keep showing up this is giving like a big cat like a big cat lying down this is the tail this is the front of the cat this gives me like a big cat laying down and cats actually are seen as the energy of like you know of course they represent feminine energy but um this is more giving me a feeling of standing strong in your power and not backing down okay like this is more giving me the feeling of like dark feminine energy like you're going to do what you're going to do okay um it's like you have already taken your step forward and you're not going to come back um whether it's regarding your job your work it's about uh finally having the courage to take up your space and do something so that's the kind of feeling i channel with this let's keep that on the side okay so coming to the cards okay so this i already like explained okay this represents money energy good news when it comes to your money dog represents a loyal energy that's around you so i feel um if you're trying to do something you will receive the support you want people will be there for you or someone very loyal is entering your life i think i also told you in the cup that i see some kind of help coming your way so this is the representation of the fact that uh especially when it comes to your money matters you are receiving some kind of help okay there is someone who is going to help you for some of you it is also giving me a feeling if you're stuck with some kind of government work like you feel that my documentation is not happening or some kind of government related work then you will receive help in that it will now work okay this is what i'm getting let's take some tarot cards now just a moment i'm strongly channeling the energy of like the queen of cups i know it's not here uh, the card is not here yet but i'm strongly <coughs> excuse me what's up with my nose when i'm doing your reading maybe someone is trying to be very nosy with you <laughs> my nose keeps itching for some reason 
yeah, I was getting the energy of like the Queen of Cups, which tells me that um, you're going to be very grounded in your emotions and you're not going to act impulsively. You're going to take your time to act on something and you're going to wisely act in a situation. You will not let your emotions take over. You're balanced in your emotions, okay? Let's see your messages for the next 15 days. Okay, this one. This one. Wow, I was talking about this the whole time and it's here. The strength card at the bottom, like this is what I was talking about. Wow, big cats. <laughs> um, you'll be standing strong in your power. No one can shake you. Wow, this is exactly what I told. Let's see your cards. Amazing. Magician. This is like such a beautiful energy to start your <laughs> reading with. Wow. This is so beautiful. Knight of Cups. Hmm. There is this, again and again, this masculine energy keeps showing up. Like there is someone else in your energy, someone approaching you. Feels like new energy to me. Two of Pentacles. Uh, wait, is it focusing? Yeah, Three of Wands. There is such a big energy of manifestation with the Magician and Three of Wands. For some of you, it's about finally manifesting a connection. Because Two of Pentacles is here, so maybe some of you will have to make a choice between two people. That also could be for someone. And you might be actually manifesting a new connection in your life with this dog card coming up. You're actually manifesting a very loyal connection in your life. Wow. Beautiful. You got the chariot. Let me cover this card, okay? This is... Um, <laughs> okay. Wow. This is giving me the energy of, you know, like, uh, with this person, with this new energy entering, your life will start moving forward, okay? Like, I feel there is someone in your energy, definitely. There's a big energy of someone being present for you, someone being there for you. And with this person entering your life, a lot of things are going to move for the better. And you will start also seeing a good energy when it comes to your money, okay? And since Two of Pentacles is here, Two of Pentacles also represents a second money path, okay? Because it also represents more than one income source. So definitely for some of you, oh my God, money energy looks good to me. Let's take some Oracle cards. You might be seeing number 111. Okay, this one they gave me. Three, they gave me three. Okay. We are going to see uh, from this deck one thing that is going to be like the focus of your 15 days, okay? One major thing that's going to be like the focus. Uh, I'm drawn to this card. Let's take something from here. I just now saw bottom of the deck, number eight, the path. For some of you, it's definitely about a new money or, or a new income source opening up for you. If not exactly in the next 15 days, then maybe in the next 15 days, you will get an idea or you will be drawn towards, you know, starting something new. So take that as a sign. It's a big yes. Okay. So let's take them one by one. Oh my God, this cannot be any more synchronized. Number 56, make your dreams real. Like this is a big sign, especially for people who have been thinking to start something new. It's a big sign. It will work in your favor. This will bring you amazing ab abundance. The cards keep bringing up this idea of like a new money path or a new income source with the two of pentacles, this magician, and again this, okay? Like, 
something you want to do it's a big yes it will it will bring you a lot of financial abundance okay are you kidding me right now i think i saw fox in your cup it's here what <laughs> fox spirit think on your feet oh wow this is giving me a feeling that um, don't just listen to people blindly also uh, you know focus on your own emotion how you feel about it then take an action what the heck like are you kidding me right now what <laughs> what the hell man i'm kind of like i'm losing words like from two different decks oh my god like you have got dog twice in your reading and you see something the number is in sequence 18 19 maybe the dates 18 and 19 could be significant wow i'm i'm shocked like what <laughs> wow there's definitely someone entering your life very soon this energy is happening very soon it's not far okay so the main focus of your next 15 days is gonna be harvest number 43 seven keeps showing up in your reading with the chariot it was number seven here is a number seven and again this one number seven so maybe seven is something you might be seeing a lot wow for some of you it's about uh, laying the seeds to something amazing that's going to bring you a lot of harvest in the future for some of you it's about seeing the results uh, of your efforts so maybe you have been working on a side hustle or something for the last couple of months. You will start seeing results with it. This is a confirmation. 39 creation beaver moon. Wow. Beaver moon, I think, occurs in the month of November, if I'm not wrong. So maybe for some of you, something you have started working on in the last November. Okay. Or for the, as I said, for the last couple of months, you have started working on something. You have been creating something of your own. This, this concept of creation keeps showing up in your reading. You're definitely working on something. Wow. And you're going to see good results with it. What? Are you kidding me right now? Like this word is twice in your reading, man. I'm kind of like, this reading is so synchronized. See, number seven, harvest, moon, harvest, fruition. You can check the timing of the harvest moon around like which month it occurs. So that could have some significance for you. Oh my God. This is such a big sign that you are on the right path. You are doing the right thing. And this is meant for you. It is going to bring you a lot of abundance. See? It's, it's coming to its fruition. It is like, wow. I mean, I have no words. The cards are like speaking for itself. I mean, I don't know if I have to say anything else. Oh my God. I love this reading. Like, this is such a beautiful energy. Number seven, I just noticed again. And do you see something? There's a mirror effect here. 43, 34. Something is literally like, you, you put out into the universe and now it's coming back. This mirror effect. Wow. Let me see if I'm missing something. No, I think. <laughs> Beautiful energy, okay? Um, group number two, this is where I will uh, leave you with the message. Thank you so much once again. Uh, for being a part of this beautiful family. Thank you so much for all your lovely comments and your support. I dearly appreciate your presence. I dearly appreciate the time you put forward uh, into watching my videos. It means a lot to me. And uh, stay tuned. I'm gonna post more videos this week. So take care of yourselves till then. And uh, yeah, bye-bye.